How's it going everybody? Back out here at Mohican State Park, doing a little overnighter here, just by myself, a little solo. As you can see, I, I uh, started by the fire tower here. There's this little uh, path that goes behind it here, and it takes you back into some really cool looking pine forest. And that's why I'm out here today. I just want to go hike this little area. It's gonna be an out and back today, just a few miles. And then I'm actually gonna get back in the truck and go park down by campsite six. And that's where I've registered to stay tonight. You never know what campsites are open until you get here. And that's, that's the best I could get tonight, which is okay. I've never stayed there, so kind of excited about that. But anyway, this is a section of this trail that I have not hiked in about five years. And I was out here recently for the, uh, actually this the shirt I'm wearing, the Mohican 100 trail run. I was pacing a buddy of mine and we ran through this section and it was just gorgeous. I couldn't wait to get, get a camera and get back out here. So this should be, a, should be a fun one. Pretty much out here today, testing out some gear. Quite a few new things. A lot of my standard backpacking gear, I did not bring at all. I'm like super lightweight. I think I'm sitting right around 14 pounds right now with water. Well, be honest with you, I got a steak that's in the truck. I, I kind of forgot to throw it in here, but no point in throwing it in if I'm going to go back to the truck and, and change parking areas. But I'm probably going to stop at the gas station and get a couple beers too. So really, I'm out here to test out some gear for a big trip I got coming up in about three weeks and also to test out uh, some camera gear and like, I mean, this camera is still new to me, so I'd really like to have more time with it before I uh, film a trip that's like a week long. So I'll play with some settings in the camera, get to know it a little bit better. Also, I'm going to give this microphone one last hurrah, not digging it so far. You notice if I shake the camera, you hear all that popping. Really, really easy to do, and it bugs the crap out of me. I actually just ordered a different microphone, so that'll be my third one I'm trying for this. And um, we'll see, maybe third time's a charm, but I'm gonna give this one one last try before I completely rule it out. This tripod's still new, still uh, on the fence about bringing this. But yeah, just doing a nice little overnighter. Probably gonna hike for, I don't know, a couple miles here, depending how long I take. It's uh, actually 5.30 right now, so I don't have a ton of time. Got out here pretty late, but I'll hike for, I don't know, maybe an hour, hour and a half. Hopefully be back at the truck by then. But for those of you wondering what the big trip is, I am getting on a plane and I'm headed over to the Pacific Northwest. I'm doing a trail, possibly two, in Oregon. Plans aren't really completely finalized as of yet. So I've pretty much planned out two different hikes that I can do back to back, or I might just do some sightseeing while I'm out there. Either way, I'm probably gonna be putting out like a ton of videos. It's gonna be a pretty epic trip. I'm not gonna get into the details of it yet. It's, it's pretty cool, the uh, planning's coming along nicely. It's really coming together and I'm really getting excited about it now. So anyway, this trail that I'm on right now is a uh, mountain bike trail. It's a little tough to make a loop out of it unless you're really wanting to bang out some big mileage because there's no park and pack primitive campsites. Uh, like anywhere near this area and in my case you get here and the sites you're planning on are taken so So hopefully I can be back at the truck by 630 and then I can be at the campsite uh, before 7 and have at least an hour and a half or so of sunlight to set up and get a fire going because I actually I didn't even bring a stove actually I might have brought my no I didn't bring a stove I didn't bring a stove or a pot or alcohol I got a steak and I'm gonna cook it on a fire that's the plan I'm doing it old school here tonight I didn't bring a chair I didn't bring one extra piece of clothing everything you see me wearing now is everything I have. So it's cool, I got a little bit of water, I got just a little bit of food. I didn't even bring breakfast. Plan is to get out of here early tomorrow. I might go into work, I might, I might drive an hour back home right to my job at 7 a.m. I got vacation coming up, got this Oregon trip coming up. We're going to Tennessee in a couple months and we got Columbus Marathon coming up. I mean, I got stuff, I'm like completely booked and it's gonna cost a lot of money. 
especially with a new truck payment. So might might leave early to get some more OT at the job, but we will see. Okay, it didn't take long. Six o'clock on the dot. You can see the difference from behind me to in front. Everything's completely cleared up here. It's really pretty because it lets all this sunlight in. So you still have like ferns all over the ground, like just beautiful green vegetation, but still have this like, you know, just rows of pine trees or hemlocks or whatever they are. I don't really know my trees. A really pretty area. But yeah, back to the Mohican 100. Just muddy mess, like, it was a hell of an adventure though. It was really, really cool. But I ran into a few people that knew who I was, so shout out to Jameson at the aid station, and shout out to Paul Conrad. Paul's a little bit of an older guy, at least older than me, and he ran the marathon. I looked at his time. Dude, Paul, I know you were out there in the worst of it. Like, I was done whenever the trails got really, really bad. But, I, man, running a marathon through this in all that weather, that, that, was a, uh, that was a feat, man. That was awesome. And I saw your son, too. I can't remember his name. But he got, like, either first or second place overall in the 100-miler. Like, beast, next-level runner. So, good job to you guys. Maybe I'll see you next year. I might be doing it. Back here at the fire tower the truck. I think I, I think I might have to call this video fast packing because this is not backpacking. <laughs> Although when I get to the trail I will be equally as hot and sweaty stopping at the gas station <laughs> and then I'm gonna go head down to camp six. All right back at it again heading up this trail right here. Campsite five and six are short walk away probably within I don't know half a mile for campsite six. This is kind of cool. I've never done this section in the summer. Very different from when I was here last time in, I think, December of 2017. I also, uh, I thought about staying at Campsite 6, the site I'm staying at tonight, last time I was here. But I actually couldn't find it. I do have a uh, knife and a saw with me. So I'm probably going to do some bushcrafting, make a fire. I know everybody just hates to hear that. Here's 6. I could not find that last time I was here. I must have just walked right by the sign, evidently. Oh wow, we are right on the trail. That's kind of weird. So we got some special guests here tonight. Get to campsite, and it's my buddy Nate from Adventures of Frostbeard. Uh, he got here a little bit after me, saw my name on the trailhead, said all the sites were full, which I believe it. They were almost all full when I filled mine out. So he figured he'd stop and see if I let him crash with with me and I'm cool with that so the more the merrier it's gonna be a good time tonight got some extra hands to help get some firewood and uh yeah see how it goes tonight all right so we're all set up a camp here see Nate and his two children have the uh tarp tent rain shadow yep is that what it's called yeah same one Tim Watson always uses or I guess Josh always uses but um <laughs> But uh, yeah, really cool tent. I've only seen one of these one other time in person. Ventilation all the way through. The back opens up just like the front. It's really cool. I actually debated on getting uh, one of their uh, one or two person tents. It was either the Mo Trail or the Pro Trail. Before I got the Light Heart gear, I was debating on that. But yeah, and uh, my setup's over here. But I can't show it to you guys because it's a prototype. I'm not allowed putting it on camera yet. I'm really excited about it. Uh, that's pretty much the entire reason I'm out here today is to test it out, possibly be taking it uh, out to the Pacific Northwest here at the end of the month. Yeah, just trying to get some nice in nights in it. Only set it up once in the backyard so far. Got a really good pitch today on it, so already getting better at putting it up. Sorry I'm talking about it and not showing it. I know it's just killing some people, but you will eventually see it. Just uh, don't ask about it. If you if you ask in the comments, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna answer it, so don't even waste your time. Got a nice little fire here going. For Oregon, I'm just, I got a tin of that uh, mountain house. So I'll just put like a whole bunch of that in like a gallon bag, like fill the thing up. Just measure it out and that'll time. be, yeah, that's what I did in Colorado. It, it's kind of gross, but I cooked in the same bag all week long out there. 
So yeah, that's pretty gross. It is, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but but then I never had like trash, you know. Right. I had my one cooking bag. No chair on this trip. Just got the Thermo SZ seat. Considering taking that to Oregon, definitely save a lot of weight that way. But got some nice coals in this fire now. So it is now the moment you've all been waiting for. Time to cook the ribeye. So let's throw this bad boy on and get it going. Grills probably all kinds of nasty. But then again, my steak's been growing bacteria since about 3 p.m. That's okay. Montreal steak spice here. Did not bring enough steak spice. All right, we got first flip done here on the ribeye, looking pretty good. It's got a good heat right here, a nice slow cook. So I'm really looking forward to this. What do you got, Nate? It is hot apple cobbler. That sounds like a dessert. It is, yeah. <laughs> I didn't bring dinner, and I thought my kids would leave some, and they ate all of it like they were starving to death. <laughs> We were outside of our permit, as far as where we camped, the third night, because I couldn't get there. I was, um... What do you I, think you got sick from? I, I don't know. Like, part of me thinks it was, like, blood sugar, like, that I didn't eat enough sugary food. Mm -hmm. Um, because, um, I was, like, throwing up. Oh, really? Yeah, but when we got to, oh, when we set up camp, I slammed two bottles of wine. <laughs> And it was like the best, most delicious thing I had ever tasted. Medicine. Throwing up so bad, I stopped drinking water. Because we were miles from the river. We were not going to be anywhere to fill up. And oh. I was like, I'm just wasting water. Like, I'm yeah. drinking it and just puking it up immediately. Is it good? Yeah. It's real good. That's it? Yeah. yeah. All right. It's the moment of truth here. Is it a perfectly cooked steak, or did I overcook it? I'm eating with a knife and a stick, because I forgot a fork or a spork. Mm. I don't want to make Nate jealous, but this is awesome. <laughs> Pretty good, man. Is it good? Awesome. I don't want to make you jealous since you don't have a real dinner tonight. But <laughs> I mean, when I was in good shape and I was doing it, I, I remember looking at my watch and for one climb it took me 30 minutes. And it's, it's bad enough that you take five, ten steps and you gotta take a break. Alright guys, well we are in the tent for the night. But yeah, it's about 11 o'clock. Probably gonna Call it a pretty early morning. Not really gonna do any hiking. Probably just gonna do the the uh, half mile to a mile out to the truck and call it a day. But yeah, it's been a good trip so far, and uh, we'll see you in the morning. Well, it's eight o'clock. So you can see I'm already uh, packed up and on the trail here, heading back to the truck. Just wanted to get home early today. Had a really good time uh, hanging out with Nate, talking a bunch. Uh, we've actually planned a few trips together um, and we've never been able to make them work. If you guys don't know, actually I know you guys don't know, but me and Nate are actually kind of family. Um, our wives are cousins, so um, we always talk about backpacking and whatnot at all the the family get-togethers. But yeah, it was a good camp out and I'm glad I got here and got a site locked down um, that they were able to come stay at too because, you know, they, they were, all the sites were taken so they literally would have probably had to have gone home. Um, you know, stealth camping is one thing but with little kids it's it's a little bit harder, not quite as fun. Yeah, more than happy to share my site with them. And it was cool to show Nate the, uh, the new shelter. He's a pretty avid ultralight backpacker. He's got a duplex too, so he's used to uh, Dyneema shelters, as I'm not. So 
it's kind of nice to have his input there kind of helping me tweak it tweak it play around with it a little bit and do me a favor and go check out his youtube channel it's called adventures of frostbeard um, a lot of good stuff on there nate's an awesome dude i mean he outfits his entire family which is a big family with all this camping gear but he's got some really interesting stuff over there on his channel his wife chanda she does a lot of solos give him some subs good good camp out though and uh some of my gear changes i'm i'm really happy with i'm really uh really liking the new tent i'm sorry that i can't show you guys it yet it's it's pretty cool i think i'm definitely going to take it to oregon but i'm back to the road now I think that'll do it. Uh, I hope this video wasn't too boring. I know I didn't film a whole bunch, but I really wasn't planning on filming a whole lot. I don't have a whole lot to talk about. I'm out here to test gear and, uh, you know, get some stuff uh, figured out for what I'm going to do uh, at the end of the month here. And, uh, yeah, I'm not going to not take a camera out and film it a little bit. So, so thanks for watching the video, guys. Uh, stay tuned. One of the next videos I'm going to be posting here is going to be probably my full gear loadout uh, for Oregon. I, I'm still planning the logistics of the trip. There might be two two backpacking trips in that one, but the first one is definitely going to be about a five-day trip, and when I get out west, I'm going to be filming a whole bunch of videos, so stay tuned to the channel. There's going to be some good stuff. Hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next one. I'm going to go to McDonald's and get a bacon, egg, and cheese bagel, and a hash brown, and a small orange juice. Small orange juice. Hash browns. <laughs> Hash browns. <laughs> <laughs>